Everyone said they were too busy to help this horse. Until Emma spotted him. He was in a holding area for wild horses. The government rounds them up and puts them there. A ranch adopted Miko and Emma went to help. She tried to touch Miko, but he was so scared. She stood quietly and he got a little curious. <laughs> That's so cool. Where is he? She went back the next week. When he saw her, his ears perked up a bit. She checked on Miko every week. After a few weeks of visits, he let her touch him. That was a big day for them. One day, she went to see him and couldn't find him anywhere. She asked where he was. They sold him because he was too much work. Who knows where he went? Emma asked everyone around, but he was gone. Emma got an email from a friend. It was a Craigslist ad for a horse. The horse was skinny, his hair was a dull, his eyes were wide with fear, but he had a white brand that she'd recognize anywhere. It was Miko. She immediately responded to the ad and drove 12 hours one way to get him. She had no idea if he'd remember her, but when she walked in, he saw Emma and put his head right on her chest. She drove him to his new home with her. He was so scared. He ran in circles in a panic. Touching him made him shake. Emma tried multiple trainers to help, but Miko acted out towards all of them. He was only okay with Emma, so she decided to train Miko herself. They worked together every day for two years. Until one day, Miko let her put on a saddle. They now spend days exploring trails and beaches. With Miko glued to his side. He's not attached to me. He's just walking right next to me like he would. We've never done this before. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Emma thought Mika would only trust her forever, but even that is starting to change. He's walking! He's walking!